um, get this message. I will not be on the pulpit for a long time. The Lord has given me a mandate to do and has taught me the time to start and the time to finish. So I'm using the time of God. Whenever the Lord will say stop here, I'm stopping there. Whether 10 minutes from now or 20 or 30, but by the time I'll be stopping, something is going to happen to you. When the spirit takes all, when the spirit takes all, when the spirit takes all, and his glory. Sing out. When the Spirit takes over my soul. When the Spirit takes over my soul. form of fire mixed together with wind in the overflow on the ground and immediately I stood over here and I closed my eyes and I saw the glory appealing the physical presence the Shekinah the Shekinah. Oh, yes. The Shekinah. Oh, yes. The Shekinah glory. She the Shekinah glory. Woo. The Lord is appearing in this place. Oh, yes. The Lord is appearing in this place. The Shekinah glory. I call the Shekinah. Oh, yes. I invite the glory of God. To appear in this place in a form of wind, in a form of a burning fire, I call the glory. Sing the Holy Spirit! The Holy Spirit! The Holy Spirit! The Holy Spirit! Say the glory of the Lord! My soul! Where the Spirit! Shalom. As it is written in the book of Acts, the glory of the Lord came down in the form of a whirlwind. The Bible says in the book of Acts chapter 2, you see, the Bible says, I want to read it for you, uh, verse 2. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind and filled all the house where they were sitting. What happened eventually? Verse 3, and they appeared unto them, called them tongues like a fire and sat upon each of them. You see, the same experience of the book of Acts is the same experience we experienced. You see, the mighty wind came upon the place. When I pray to God, we want to see a glory. We are living in the generation where people don't believe in the power of God and where 
Everybody wants to know whether there is really a God or not. And I cry to God that I want to see your presence, your glory, send your glory. And what we saw was just a glimpse of his glory. Just a glimpse of his glory. And we saw the, 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 the burning fire mixed together, the whirlwind together, appearing on the grounds on the fourth overflow. And so many people began to run to see. And the people were at the back, some were running. And actually, they, were, they didn't know what, 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 what was going on, what, what's happening. But that's the glory of the Lord. And I want you to know one thing, that God is doing these things not because he was trying to point out that, you see, to us as his servants, but it's all about himself. The glory belongs to him and for him. So what you're watching right now is a visible manifestation of God's glory. But above all, God is preaching to us. He loves you and he wants you to repent your sins and to give your life to Jesus Christ. I hope to see you again. I love you and believe in the Lord and his glory shall be with you. This is a prayer for everybody to begin to pray. I want to see the glory. I want to see the glory. If you pray, you will see his glory. His glory can be seen if we ask him. We want to see. Love you. Shalom. Enlightened Christian Gathering Church, demonstrating God's power and always with you.